Hey everyone, this is Donut Master. I'm making this video to rant about the current state of YouTube and why, as time goes on, I get to hate this platform more and more. First, let's talk about the dislike counter. Recently, YouTube decided to make an idiotic change. Removing the dislike counter. This has been met with an almost 100% disagreement from YouTube users, both viewers and creators. They claim that the goal is to reduce the amount of dislike bombing while ignoring the fact that not only dislike bombing is very uncommon, there is already a solution against it. In fact, anyone can remove the like and dislike ratio on their video, and that has been a thing for many years. What is the real reason behind this? YouTube won't tell us, but some people speculate that it is to protect corporations who don't want to see people disliking their videos, or to get people to watch more crap for longer due to not knowing whether a certain tutorial is working or not, in an attempt to drive up their ad revenue and data collection. As YouTube itself stated, other major platforms don't even have a dislike button. And this is probably to protect corporations and to keep users engaged on useless crap for longer periods of time. All in all, everyone unanimously agreed that this is a bad idea. But yet, YouTube did not give a shit. Now, let's talk about the mobile app. My take on this may be a little controversial, because I know some people enjoy the current state of the YouTube mobile app. I, however, do not. A few years ago, the mobile app was simple, and it worked. It looked like this. You saw thumbnails and video titles on the main screen, and that was fine. That was all good. It just worked. Now let's compare it to a modern version of the app. What the fuck is this? No, seriously, what the fuck is this? Alright, let's do it step by step. 1. Look at the thumbnails. No, but just look at the thumbnails. Why are they taking so much space? Like before, I could see a list of video thumbnails. Now it's so big, it's like a slideshow. And you want to know what's the worst part? The thumbnails autoplay the video. Why is it autoplaying? If I wanted to actually watch the video, I would click on it. And you can't even disable thumbnail autoplay. This is so bad that it makes me rage quit immediately after opening the YouTube mobile app. 2. Community posts. I have nothing against community posts. It's a nice way to see that you can now post written messages on a YouTube channel after YouTube removed the original feature a few years back. Here's the problem though. Why am I seeing community posts that are coming from channels I've never heard from before? And why are they taking so much space on my screen? 3. YouTube Shorts, or Stories, or whatever they're called. They're just the worst. YouTube is apparently copying TikTok and implementing similar features. There is just one problem. If I wanted to watch TikTok content, I would be on TikTok. But guess what? I am not on TikTok. Why? Because I am uninterested in the brain-numbing and dopamine hoarding content available on that stupid platform. I don't want to watch such videos, but YouTube forces them down my throat. There is no way of hiding YouTube Shorts from the settings. 4. YouTube cannot rotate the video player with the phone's gyroscope. This used to be a feature back in the day. Rotate the phone in landscape to watch it in full screen. One day, for some absolutely idiotic reason I do not know about, they removed that feature. Now I have to click on a tiny icon to watch in full screen instead. Lastly, let's talk about the content on YouTube. Once, YouTube was a place where you could upload your own videos for others to watch. 
It was a place for creativity. You could share videos for the world to see. But nowadays, just look what's available. A lot of television scenes uploaded by broadcasters. A bunch of brain damaging videos that somehow get millions of views. Videos targeted for kids. Why are those even a thing? Why is a 5 year old even online in the first place? Boy am I glad that YouTube Kids is banned in Quebec where I live where advertising directly to kids is illegal. YouTube isn't about broadcasting yourself anymore. It's a place for TV stations to dump their content to get extra revenue. It's a place where it encourages people to do quantity over quality. It's a place where people go to watch the stupidest of videos. Now, what's the solution? Perhaps YouTube needs a competitor. I'm not too optimistic about moving to another platform really. All that's going to happen once the other platform gets big enough is the same thing that happened to YouTube. Nonetheless, let's look at our options. When you think about YouTube competitors, what do you think of? To me, the two platforms that come to mind is Dailymotion and Vimeo. Let's take a look at Dailymotion first. What the hell is this? Okay, let's not go to Dailymotion. Now, what about Vimeo? Well, first of all, if you plan on uploading a lot of videos, you better get your credit card out. Otherwise, I may give it a shot. I may start to mirror my videos on Vimeo eventually. It is to be determined though. In conclusion, YouTube is terrible.